everyone once again here from Morocco in today's video we're here in a little village called Imlil in the high Atlas mountains we just arrived that's why we got our bags here so we came here from Marrakesh we got a private taxi it takes around an hour and 30 minutes to get here and that was 300 dirhams overall for him to drop you off in the center if you want it cheaper you can just wait for them to fill the taxi I think they can fill it with about six people so it'll be five dollars each but we waited for like 20 minutes and nobody had come so yeah we just got the private one it's not really a bad price for for a long ride like that and right now we're just walking up to the place that we're going to be staying give you some of the views of how it looks around here very mountainous as expected and we're staying at that guest house there Riyad Atlas Prestige says that it's this way so as you can see it looks like a pretty traditional looking village definitely liking the look of it already you think we gotta go on? <laughs> I don't know either I don't know if Google Maps will show the stairs no, maybe it's this way Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? All right, we asked one of the horse guys. So it is this way. Just got to continue on the path. Some of the people here have uh, blue eyes. It's a really interesting look. Didn't see that in Marrakesh, the locals. Looks so different. Yeah, it's a lot colder here than in Marrakesh. But it's warmer than I was expecting. Yeah, but I think at night it's going to be real cold. So we're just checking in. At the last place, we also had to fill out this form. I think it's like a government kind of document with your passport info, stuff like that. And this is the outside area. I think you can probably have the meals and a drink here. Wow, what a place. Yeah, the view is amazing. Yeah, we actually saw this place on YouTube, a guy that stayed here. And then when we saw it, we were like, yep, that's the view we want every day. Perfect. So this is going to be our room for the next two days. Really good deal because it's just $26 per night and that also includes breakfast. Really spacious too. And there's a heater. Definitely going to be needing that. And the best part, look at the clothes that are included. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. The, the hood, the yeah, hoodie. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it keeps me very warm when I put this. I, I already felt the difference. Yeah, so they actually have two of those. I'll probably wear it for, for dinner tonight. And then this is the bathroom. The weird flicking lights on the, on the GoPro only. It's not actually like that. GoPro does that sometimes. Yeah, so really good room. That's definitely the highlight though. <laughs> So we're gonna go on a little hike now to a waterfall that's right near the center. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing a, a longer hike for a couple of hours. The guy at our hotel said all you gotta do is just follow this irrigation system here and it'll lead you there. So since we're here in the winter, we were hoping that it would be full of snow here because sometimes you can come and the entire valley is covered in snow, which would be pretty cool, right? To see uh, snow in Morocco. Probably a lot of people don't even know that it snows here, but it just hasn't been snowing or raining in uh, Morocco for months. It's actually a big problem for them because obviously they need the water for like drinking water and stuff. And they told us that each year that passes now, the snow is coming later and later. So apparently last year it was only in March, but the guy said they were actually hoping that it might snow a bit today because it is pretty cloudy. It hasn't been like this at all the previous days. 
And in the forecast it did show like rain, which I guess around here would be snow. I mean, look over there, it's really cloudy. So who knows, we might get like super, super lucky. And it's around 1 p.m. now, and I think we've come at the same time as the day trips from Marrakesh. A lot of people don't sleep here, they just come for the day since it's close. So it's probably gonna be a bit busier than other times. There's a lot of people. Yeah, because the, the waterfall is not that big. It's probably like three groups, three big people. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Day tour? Yes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're staying at a Prestige? Yeah. Okay. You know? Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Two days. Yeah. <laughs> two days. <laughs> All right, have a good one. So have a good next day. So that's funny, that's the guy that works at the Riyadh that we stayed at in Marrakesh that we left just this morning. <laughs> what a coincidence we run into him here. I think he's doing like a little tour for some of the ladies that are staying there. And that massive group actually just left, so it's a lot emptier now. Pretty nice waterfall though. Some little restaurant areas that they've set up too. It's a very tiny restaurant. Yeah, like a little hut. Oh, nice place to have a meal though. You can also sit in the cave. There's a little cave here. Some fresh oranges. I like the, the fridge. Keep everything cool. Oh yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> the oranges too. Yeah. Are you going to swim? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Let me see how cold it is. Oh man, yeah. Ice cold. I kind of knew that already though. So we're just getting one of the orange juices. Tenderum. <laughs> getting a coffee too. Tenderum. So the coffee looks pretty different, a lot of milk. Carol's was actually 15, not 10. Yeah, pretty cool place though, like a unique layout for a, a waterfall. I like it with the cave. The orange juice is always great here. Yeah, always sweet. I don't think they put sugar, but it's always sweet and fresh. Yeah, pretty nice uh, coffee too. It's actually very strong. I thought because it was so milky that it won't taste so strong, but yeah, it is strong coffee. bad news it's raining yeah it is actually raining I don't know if that means snow it might mean at least snow on the high peaks though because there's some peaks around 4,000 meters here that we're hoping to see in tomorrow's trek so yeah that could be good news definitely good news for the locals though because like I said they need the rain shelter shelter it's not raining that much yet oh sweet so there's actually more waterfalls I thought it was just that one that's down there. We just ran into the guy from Marrakesh again and he said it's the first time he's seen rain in five months. So it really has been that long. Man, it's extra cold now. Yeah, you should put your rain jacket. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on.
So the restaurants at the top of the rocks, they didn't have that many options. It was just like tagine. So we've kind of come across from Imlil. So that's Imlil there. You actually get a really nice head on view. And this is another village called Ahmed. But we just asked a local if there's food here. And he said no. I mean, this was a restaurant. You can see the menu and stuff, but it's all closed. We'll still walk through though. And he said we also have an option to go back going around the top there. So we might do that. <laughs> We're planning on doing a hike today, but it's turning into one. Yeah, we came through the wrong way and we did the, the, the sheep's way <laughs> or what's the other animal? Like a goat. Goat, yeah. So we're all dirty now because we're uh, basically rock climbing. <laughs> we turned into mountain goats. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of got lost there. So anyway, let's see Ahmed. So I think tourism here is more in the warmer months, not in the winter. People come here to escape the heat of the other places around Morocco. Wow, so going past Ahmed, you can see some of the huge peaks. I think that's snow. Yeah, there ice. is snow over there, or ice, yeah. I don't know if one of those is Tupkal. That's the biggest mountain in North Africa, I think. Like around 4,100 meters. You can see where we've got to loop around though. Just gonna go down there and then we'll go along the top. And the locals here are just lovely people. They are very friendly and they help you. Don't don't need anything or money in return. They're very, very nice. Yeah, they've been very kind so far. almost arriving at our hotel and it's completely opened up now Tupkal so I don't even know if we need to come here in the morning now because we can see it completely and it is full of snow I would have loved to see the entire valley though covered in snow if you look at pictures I can probably show you a picture right now there's sometimes where everything is white even here below but at least we're seeing a bit a bit of snow in Morocco I love this place <laughs> yeah it's very different the terrain yeah, I think it's very unique. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen anything like this, which is kind of dry and... So big. So big and orangey and you also have the snowy peaks, so it's very, very cool. Now in the center of the village, so there's like a proper area with a, a real road. It's not all dirt roads. There's skiing equipment here. So I guess you can even ski in the mountains around here. Definitely didn't know you could do skiing and snowboarding. And I think we're finally gonna eat now. Carol found a place with good reviews. Eating like three hours after we, we originally planned. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving too. And this is the place. Hello. You want to eat something? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> YouTuber, no? Yeah, YouTuber. Yeah, we'll go. <laughs> so this place is called Maison Ait Mizani. Really nice area. It's kind of outside, but it's covered. It seems to all be in uh, French. Carol speaks a bit of French. I think I'm going to go for couscous with beef. I'm not sure which one that is though. I'll ask the guy. Couscous is looking amazing full of different ingredients. I think it even has a prune on top, some seeds, chickpeas. Not even sure what this is. Looks like a potato, but I don't think it is. Aubergine, carrots, and uh, chicken too. Some other things here. So that was 80. This guy likes the smell too. He's a big dude. You've been eating a lot. And Carol got basically the same thing, just without the chicken. I think yours was a bit cheaper. Yeah, 60 dirhams. 60? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good prices. Yeah, looking good. There is something sweet. Maybe the onions. <laughs> wow, I think it's going to rain again. Oh yeah, it's raining. 
More snow. Yes. <laughs> what the hell? It is like a storm. Over your food. Storm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Carol said, this is the real deal. It's so, so tasty, full of flavor. And there is a sweetness there, definitely. But I really like it. Yeah, the best couscous I've ever had. Yeah, probably the best I've ever had, too. And a lot of food, that's great. The couscous cat. So it is the next morning and we're just about to begin our hike. So we chose to do this one here. We're gonna go to that peak up there. So this isn't the one that we started doing yesterday. As you can see, all the ice and snow has melted now and there's no chance of snow today. It's gonna be a really sunny day. So yeah, at least we got to see a bit of it yesterday. So some people said that it takes about six hours round trip. Some other people said four hours. I guess it depends how fast you go. And online it says that it's around minus one degree Celsius right now, but this isn't minus one. No, I don't feel that cold actually. Feels like 10. Yeah, maybe seven, <laughs> five, but not minus. Before coming here, we were looking up, uh, for pictures of this place to see how it looked. And it's funny because uh, the pictures look very different because of the, the seasons. When it's summer, I think, or maybe spring, everything looks so green. It's like a different place. Yeah, like a really lush, vibrant green. Because all these trees will have leaves, right? And there's so many trees around. But it looks like a completely different place to what we're seeing now. This is the coolest village so far. Lots of little alleyways. Bonjour. She did say bonjour, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you got the local village mosque. So each little village has its own mosque. It's pretty cool at uh, prayer time since we're in clothes too. The sound of all of them uh, chanting together. This last stretch is really steep, but I think we're almost there, about 15 minutes away. Really nice being in the woods though. So we've been mainly opting for the off-road paths. It's harder, I think, steeper, but saves you a lot of time. All right, made it. Whew. So how long did that take? Uh, one hour and a half. One hour and a half? Yeah. So way quicker than we thought. <laughs> so this is also a pass that people do. Some people trek from Imlil and then go all the way down there and uh, yeah, sleep in some other villages. Wow, the landscape's so beautiful once again. I think this is a cafe, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think the only cafe around here. Yeah, on the way up at the end, we didn't see anything. So I think we're around 2,400 meters above sea level. Imlil is around 1,700. So yeah, we did walk up quite a bit. Let's see if Carol can do it Moroccan style. Oh. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> let me try, let me try. I, I've been practicing more though. So I should, I should be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah, basically, the higher you go, it makes like this little foamy part on top, which <laughs> they say makes it better. So, yeah. <laughs> so, 
So we're gonna do a bit more hiking while we're up here, especially because we did it a lot quicker than we expected. The guy at the little cafe said you can even go all the way up there. It's about an extra hour, so yeah, we might go for that, or at least a little bit, we'll see. So many villages though, people living all the way out here. All right, let's 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 see where we get with the big one. Mm. <laughs> it's very steep. Yeah, the thing is, I don't really see a pathway. Oh, I can kind of see one here. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So far there is actually a proper pathway going up. I don't know if we're gonna go all the way up there though. Yeah, this is the best viewpoint so far. You can see everything. I'm trying to see if it's Tupkal. No. Uh, oh, he's looking at the path. Yeah. What is that maps me? Yeah, it's the best app for trails. hikes and stuff. Yeah, because it usually shows the, the trails the off-road trails yeah so if you come in here and you want to hike all the way to the top of Tupkal keep in mind that you have to have a guide now you can't get past the guard posts I was reading a lot of blogs where people had done it by themselves I think even from last year and yeah you didn't need a guide so I guess that's like a, a new rule keep that in mind there's quite a few people that we met that thought they could do it themselves and then they got to the guard station and then found out that they couldn't Guess what? We ended up walking all the way to the top. It's called Talam Root Summit. We didn't even know about this before we started today's hike. The peak of the summit is right there, so yeah, we're really close, only like two minutes. But now we got 360 views, so yeah, Marrakesh is somewhere over there. That's the way we drove in. Hopefully, this sounds okay. It's super, super windy up here. <laughs> the wind cover can only do so much. So we're kind of hiding behind this rock, trying to block out all the wind. There's a lot of people doing guided tours here. I think if you do the guided tour, they'll bring like a little picnic. So yeah, that would be nice. We're going to be having an extra late lunch again. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Runny nose. Yeah. Carol's not, not made for the cold. I was not born for the cold. <laughs> Yesterday you was bleeding. Nosebleed. It's just like not, not good. Today's Disgusting. running. <laughs> Yeah, but the blood is mainly because it's so dry. Carol's always like that in dry climates. Me, not so much. <laughs> Almost blowing away. So we're gonna make our way back down now. Way, way too windy up there. That's probably some of the most intense wind that we've ever experienced. Literally like pushing you over. And I think we're gonna have lunch at the same place as yesterday since it was so good. I think I'm just gonna order the same dish cause yeah, it was amazing. It's gonna feel great after this hike. A nice delicious meal.
we're back in Imlil now. Legs are pretty sore. We went to the same place, but we actually ordered pizzas instead this time. I think the pizzas were just like three or four dollars each. Overall, the meal with drinks and a coffee was 104 dirhams. So yeah, just super affordable. All this place seems to be really affordable Imlil. So that was where we climbed today. First there and then up there. Whew, seems so, so far away. And also the dinner at our place, uh, Prestige, was really good. You pay 10 euros and that includes like a starters, a soup, a main meal and also some desserts. So yeah, once again, I think a really good deal. And I forgot to mention that we actually came to Morocco on a flight from Lisbon. That was just $30. Was it $30 or 30 euros? Uh, 30 euros. Euros. Yeah, but I saw that on some other days. They they had the flights for like 50 euros per person. Per person. Yeah, it's Ryanair, right so it's like a budget company. Yeah, the fact that you can go to another continent. I know that it's close to Portugal, but for like 15 euros, 30 euros per person. And in the next video, we're going to be heading to the coast and checking out some of Morocco's beaches. It's supposed to be some amazing beaches around here, so looking forward to that too. If you like this one, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.